Ho, ho, it's a totally awesome, 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 awesome Wednesday afternoon here in central Oklahoma. Actually, we're in eastern Oklahoma. It's about 20-some degrees outside, and people out here just do not know how to drive when it's icy. So, I guess I'm glad to be in the office where it's warm and away from all of those folks. So, let's kind of kick this thing off today. We want you to move towards your edge in success in 2023 with Apex Insurance Group. It is so important that you find your edge, and it doesn't matter what it is. Where is your mark as an agent? Some people go through their entire career, and some people go through their entire life never finding what their true place is within life. And they're constantly reckless or restless, and they just have never found that magic thing. Confucius, I've managed to say this twice so far this week, it's only Wednesday. Confucius says that if a man does what he enjoys, he'll never work a day in his life, and how true that is. So, what we want you to do through this presentation today is find out how you can be the driver of your own career. You have to be the driver. Don't let somebody else drive your life. No more average. If you accept average, you're accepting second through 10,000th place. There is only one place for you to be if you desire it, and that's for you to be the winner. Now, the people that aren't here, they're accepting second place. They're accepting third, 30th, whatever. There is a reason why 95% of all insurance agents will quit in the first five years, and that is because they do not take their career seriously enough to overcome the obstacles. Also, money can solve plenty of problems. Now, in the end, I don't care who you're talking to, whether it is Andrew Carnegie, whether it is any of the world's wealthiest people, money will never buy you more time on the end of your life. But within that time period within your life, I'll tell you what, money will buy a certain amount of freedom. It may buy your children a better college. It may buy your spouse a better Valentine's Day gift. It may take a lot of burdens off of other family members, yourself, your loved ones, your children, your grandchildren, what have you. But money can solve plenty of problems. If you have to decide uh, whether or not to buy food or leads, folks, you got the problem, okay? You've got to start earning, earning, earning is a magic number. Not making money, but earning money. Also, don't be content. The day that you're satisfied with your position in life and where you're sitting is the day that you are going to sit there and accept average. So no more average. Don't be content with where you are. Step ahead, step up, okay? But anytime that you're just standing still, Baby, the train has left the station. You better be on it because the moment that you were waiting at the steps for that the next train to come in, you have just been left behind. Finally, if not you, then who? Okay, Who's going to step into your shoes? There's going to be somebody else. I ran into an agent uh, just uh, Monday of this week that just seemed to be on fire. He was an excited agent excited to have insurance as his career. So, without any further ado, are you teachable or te trainable? Are you te It's kind of the same thing. You have to be both. You have to be trainable and teachable. If you're unwilling to learn new things, why are you even doing it with Apex? Can I ask you that? Because that's so very important. You have to be open to new ideas. Okay? First off, I want to be totally honest with every single agent. Maybe this is something that other organizations aren't uh, honest about, but I earn, Apex Insurance Group earns an override on all sales uh, conducted by agents. So the only way that this agency gets paid is by dispersing good information to profitable agents. We make a living dispensing good information, excellent information to 
agents who are willing to use that. So if you're not open to new ideas and letting go of bad habits, we can't help you. We can't even give you any recommendations on how to improve your station in life. So maybe it's best that you just plain don't contract it with us and go move on because we are not speaking your love language and we have to be able to do that in order to help you. To be trainable means to undergo instruction, discipline, or drill. So we're going to give you advice. We hope that you will take that instruction and undergo and consider it and adopt it because we're not going to give you anything that is going to be counter to your own success, okay? Even much to our own detriment. So I'm happier to let an agent go to be successful than to have them be mediocre and be part of Apex Insurance Group. That does not abode very well here with this agency. Teachable, are you capable of learning, being taught? Are you apt and willing to learn? Ask yourself that, are you favorable to learning and change? Now, I doubt very seriously that if you're looking for a new FMO, that you are nearly perfect because perfect folks wouldn't be shopping for new for a new organization to represent them, to assist them. Okay? So hopefully if you need help, we're willing to help you. And there's two ways of earning in insurance. And we hope to kind of point those things out to you. Kind of in short, you can earn it the hard way or you can earn it the easy way. So if if you were into the trainer mode and if you think this is stuff that's, this is not who we are. Maybe you have been affiliated with an organization that says, hey, I'm the trainer, do it my way. Do it for me. And basically, know what I want you to do. Okay? Just, you know, look at these things. They're my leads. They, they are my presentation done my way. They do it your way. Hmm? That's not something. I have a friend, one of my dearest friends, that brought me into the insurance industry, and he was working with a company that put on guards over gutters to keep leaves from clogging the gutters. And there was about a 50-page presentation that they needed to learn as a sales agent, word for word, in order to be accepted as an agent representing their organization. So remember, he went on appointments, marketing a gutter, um, a gutter screening company. And in order to represent them, he had to learn 50 pages, word for word, verbatim, their presentation done their way because their marketing people said this was the best way for they, them to earn an income using their system. So you can't do it our way. You know, people say, do it our way, and that's it. You got to follow follow our rules. You've got to talk to my clients. It's my office space. You work for me. Uh, dependent, captive, any of these things that you see right here, boy, I tell you what, I never would have been in this business if I had to live within this realm. Take a look at these things. These are absolutely abhorrent. Now I understand that agents can survive and thrive in these kind of negative. Uh, environments but man I tell you what somebody said I, I did talk honestly I talked to an agent early this morning that he worked for a PNC outfit and he works for a uh, an agency director or an office director that owns the franchise and it's all about him you work for me you develop my leads you go out there and, and canvas the area bring it back to the hive and it will grow my my franchise, blah, blah, blah. And see, we, we don't want it that way here at Apex Insurance Group. We actually want you to have fun working with us. Now, I know that often work is not fun. I don't want it to claim it to be. But you know what? I can promise you one thing, that you're going to have to do something for an income. And personally, I haven't found anything easier to earn an income than the insurance industry because I can create an unlimited amount of money because I still have 168 hours a week in my life, just like you, and it's a matter of what do we do with that time. So if your book of business is one and done, 
We're going to talk about a separate subject here. Imagine if your book of business is one and done, meaning you make one sale to that customer and you're gone. Poof, out the door you go. You might want to retake a look at how you're doing business. Day to day, it creates undue stress trying to find a new list, a new set of clients, a new bunch of people to talk to. You know, lead costs are going to go up forever. Um, not only do I pay attention to what's going on in the insurance industry, but also what's going on in parallel industries. It's not only, you know, a farmer just doesn't pay attention to the price of uh, uh, fertilizer. The farmer pays attention to the price of, of all other things, the price of gas, the price of, of oil, the price of insurance, the price of of seed stock, all this other kind of stuff. So you've got to understand the price of leads are going to go up for other, uh, forever or low commissions to cover. Some agents would rather work for an entity that will give them free leads. Free leads. You know what a phone book is? Free leads. So they're willing to sacrifice. And let me uh, kind of camp here a minute. How would you enjoy working for an organization that gave you a 20% below agent level commission and said, we're going to give you free leads. So you write five free leads that they have found you out of a, however they provided you leads, but then you found two more leads on your own, either through referrals or because they were personal friends of you. Now, you got a lower commission here because they gave you something in kind and in value, but you brought back to that agency these two leads where you did, where they did absolutely nothing to earn that business, absolutely zero for that business, and they earned a greater take. Do you think they're going to pay you for that additional short that they did off of your contract? I don't think so. You know, nothing changes over time, especially with those kinds of organizations. And, and if you're not willing to get into the world of relationship selling by building a one-on-one -on -one relationship that's long-term with your prospects. In, in a perfect world, in a good working world, you'll do annual reviews with your customers and then you'll come back next year. You'll take a look at the policy that they have. Is it still relevant? Do they need more coverage? Do they need less coverage? Do they need a totally different kind of coverage? And are you the one that will be able to provide that to them? So if your book is a, a business is just a one on done and done thing, nah, man, that is a hard road to hoe if you're going to be a successful agent. Let's take another look at something. Are you teachable? That seems to be the big question in today's world. Are you teachable? Can you learn new things? Can you, can you understand that there are new things that will bring you to new levels? There are new ways to read and to write business. One of the things that I've talked to agents before about the past, and I'm going to do this again in the upcoming weeks, is are you reading a book? I know most of us don't like to read, or at least I don't like to read, but for my own personal improvement, you better guarantee that I like reading a book. What are the books I read? Well, tune in in several weeks and we'll tell you. But you've got to be able to be independent. If you're not willing to be independent-minded, then you're just a little mini-me of somebody else that's feeding you full of stuff. Develop your own personality. Develop your own comfortable uh, comfort in your own skin. Be who you are. Now, if you're Carmen Miranda, and if you're too young to remember that, um, but what I'm saying is, is folks, you've got to be who you are. You've got to develop your own persona, your own persona, uh, you know, your own personality. So when you go into the home, you are genuine. And you also have to be with that. You have to be relatable, but uh, your personality is the thing that will sell. People don't necessarily buy products. They buy personalities. They buy you. And uh, as long as you have the product that fulfills their need, they'll happily buy from you. They'll buy from you again, too, because gosh darn it, they like you. I have a tire shop in this town, and um, I do business with them. I've got tractors. I've got three vehicles. I've got a tractor, two golf carts, and a four-wheeler. So I've got plenty of tires that need to be refitted, refilled, fixed, and replugged, and all this other stuff. And one of the things is, is when I go into that shop, they're not exactly the cheapest, but by gosh, they make me feel good. 
how you doing? Welcome back. What can I do for you? What, what vehicle are we servicing today? And even though they may be busy, I'm, they make me feel like they've always got the time to deal with me. Your personality, folks, will sell. Be that personality. Your products are secondary. Make sure you have a suitable product that you can sell that customer, but your products are secondary. And learn something for yourself. Every time you walk away from a customer, there's always something new that you can learn. Learn something. Learn something for yourself. Also, anything that I say in this presentation, pick it up and just run with it and learn something new. Take it and then stretch it a little further. Um, you know, everything that I say fits me. Everything that I say also fits generically this agency or this FMO. It fits. Now we have another side that is a truer agency. It's more of a franchise. And folks, I'll tell you what, even within that, we provide the framework for down the road for the selling of the product and the market space in which that we serve. We provide that framework. And that agent can travel anywhere within that road. But I'll tell you what, those framework, that's hard and fast because that is what we have developed for that agency. And build your business. I'm not there to build your business. My promise to every single agent is I will work as hard for your success as you're willing to work for yourself. But I can't outwork you in your own business because there is probably a half a dozen other agents on the other side that didn't get to schedule the time that you scheduled and they're all clamoring to help me build their business and they're waiting in line. So build your business. I am there to provide the support, the guidance, the tips, the tools, all the things that it will take to help you be successful, but I won't build your success for you. Let's move on to another thing here. Create your plan. Take a Saturday. Sit down, figure out where you are and where you want to be. Grab onto that. Have that be your dream. Earn your own money. Okay? Have you ever grown up in a home where my, you know, my dad would say, my, my house, my rules, my money, go earn your own, okay? So, earn your own income, not give it. We're not going to give you anything. We're going to teach you to earn it and manage your book of business. If you have 50 clients, you know what? Reach out to them once every eight months. I take it eight months, maybe a year, but eight months. Ask, how you doing? Just want to check up. Because after a year, people go, hmm, this must be an annual thing because I remember snow on the lawn the last time uh, he called. But eight months, soon it will be fall, then it will be summer, then it will be spring, and you're keeping your prospects, your customers, your clientele off guard. They just, uh, you're just going, wow, that guy cares, that guy cares. Also, work your schedule. If you've set up three days a week to make phone calls, Work three days a week to make phone calls. Don't say, I'll get around to it tomorrow. I've suffered that disease, and it was, uh, it was very dangerous. It was very dangerous. I keep pushing things off. I'll get around to it tomorrow. Um, not tuning a horn here, but I get in. It's not uncommon for me to get in after 5 a.m. It's more common that I'm in the office before 4.30, uh, or around 4.30, Monday through, Sat uh, Monday, th Monday through Saturday, okay? And in as much, when I do that, I work that schedule. I work that schedule until roughly 5 o'clock um, Monday through Saturday because that is my schedule. And if every single day and every single week and every single this and that, your schedule is not your schedule, it, it fluctuates. Really, all you're doing is just doing a part-time gig, okay? So, set your time and earn it. Because after all, it is your reputation that's on the line, not mine. I've seen a lot of agents come through, and we want you to have the best reputation possible. Both of these things are really required to have you to become successful. Both to, that is to have an open mind and a desire to succeed. You can have an open mind and things will float on into it and things will then float out 
and nothing will end up sticking in there, but you also have a desire. A desire is something that does this. It causes you to maintain the open mind, to allow stuff to go in, and the desire is the, uh, the thing that will cause you to put your hand up to the side of one of your ears to keep that, that open-mindedness, those ideas, from escaping out of your head. I can't tell you just how important that is to be able to do that kind of stuff. Because if you're not willing and having that desire to get ahead, then how will you ever know when you get there? Here's a good saying. The past is behind. You learn from it. Okay. The future is ahead. Prepare for it. The present is now. Live for it. Even though in the computer age, I have access to daily planners that are digital and stuff. I still write down my list of things to do every single day. The things that I don't understand that carry over, I write on to the next day. I do that on paper because if an agent calls in and I'm required to have a phone conversation later on or I collect up a answering machine message, I've got to turn around and write that down and that way I can make sure that it gets completed. You know, some have made the leap and some are happy right where they are. It's okay. You know, if you're happy with the income that you have and you're content with that, I'm happy for you. I'm happy for you. You know, that's okay. You can be content with that. But don't be content with anything less than $125,000 a year. Because this industry is way too simple once you learn it that you can generate that kind of an income. You just have to be willing to get in off of that, that wheel. And there's been plenty of times in my life that I have felt like I have been on that uh, mouse wheel, just doing nothing but doing the same thing over and over and over and over and over again and never really getting ahead. Sometimes you just gotta get out of that wheel and get into the passing lane. So you gotta ask yourself, why are you here? If you're watching this Apex Insurance Group webcast, whether it's live or you're watching it later on as a recorded event, ask why have you considered Apex Insurance Group? I think I've laid out a pretty good case for you over the last 15 or 20 minutes or so, 25 minutes, as to what makes us different. The tone of my voice, the things that I encourage an agent to do, the things that I say that I encourage an agent to do, and we want you to put us to the test. So if you're considering it, actually consider it. Here's Thomas Edison. I have not failed, not once. I've just found 10,000 ways that don't work. I had a conversation earlier today with an agent. He said he was 70 years old, lived in California, moved to Texas. And I said that uh, often I tell agents, I am looking for uh, producing agents who are looking for one last rodeo. They're looking for someone and some place in which to tie that horse so they know that they are going to have a successful relationship. And we would be proud to have that kind of a relationship with an agent if they're willing to be uh, trained and molded a little bit, and especially if you're a well-seasoned agent, to be brought into the 21st century with some of the new tools. We can do that. We can help you. Hey, Mark Twain also said this thing right here. Look at it. I, if you tell the truth, you don't have to remember anything. Okay? I know that those of us who are insurance agents, we often uh, spin a yarn. Uh, which I have no idea what that means, but we have been known to pull the truth a little bit, so much that maybe even it breaks. But here at Apex Insurance Group, we work hard at being transparent. We want you to be transparent because we understand that everything here has got to be transparent because I'm not making a promise that everything that, that everything is free. There is nothing in life that is free. Everything does have a cost, and I want you to understand that. We try to make everything here at Apex Insurance Group reasonable for the producing agent. Everybody and no one has a better deal. Everyone and nobody has a better deal. Do you get that? I wrote this, uh, uh, this webcast a couple of weeks ago, but everybody that you talk to is going to have the best deal in town. They're going to have the best deal for you, for every single agent. 
But after a couple of weeks in their deal, you'll find that nobody has the best deal in town. That's why we tell agents, look, we want you to check us out. We want you to kick the tires. We're even willing to allow new agents to come in, register for our back office, our, our you know back office access, behind the scenes, if you will. They can go even right up to the point of writing business on our e-app application. So that's a pretty square deal. You know, you, you get an opportunity to check us out. And that is something that I am pretty proud of. Nothing is new and improved. There's only old ideas that have had new lipstick put on that are new. And there isn't a secret to the bank, credit card companies, they don't want you to know about. When you hear about those kind of things, there is no secret. The only way that there is anything that's going to help you to be as successful is putting your nose to the grindstone or your shoulder to the grindstone. I don't get it, but just getting after it and getting to work. There is no secret closing technique other than the fact that I think I missed the H at the end of that. But there is no secret. Different techniques will work for different agents. If you're phlegmatic, you'll have a different technique from those that are extroverted. If you are optimistic or pessimistic, you'll each have a different one. I've had some really low-key, quiet agents that have been uh, uh, Wow, really successful. And I have had some people that thought that they had had a half dozen uppers before they came into work that day. Both of them have been successful. Also, there is no product that fits all. Here at Apex Insurance Group, we've got over 90 different carriers and probably well over a couple of hundred different uh, products. So just because that one insurance company has this one product, it is not a one-size-fits-all. And remember that. There are products that will fulfill multiple needs, but there isn't one single product that fits every single need out there. It's just, it's just not written into, into the policy. It can't be. Also, there is no magic lead system. There are tons and tons of lead, different lead systems out there. You'll have to find which one's going to be working for you and nobody else, okay? And that one system may not work for somebody else, that's what makes it unique, but the best thing to understand is that you have to find that system. So, folks, as we kind of move in here, I thank you very much for watching today's webcast. Uh, the Apex Insurance Group has several different YouTube channels that we would like you to visit on a recurring and ongoing basis. You can always watch these webcasts later and again by going to our Apex Insurance Group uh, YouTube channel. Also, we have a product or a channel out there called Apex Insurance Group, the basic agent. The basic agent is something that back when we were new agents, we learned things and we did things different than, we became, than when we became a veteran agent. When we became a veteran agent, we thought we knew everything but chances are we didn't know everything and uh, maybe we forgot those things. So this brings us back into line to helping you remember those things that were basic to you when you were new. Basic Agent Channel, click the subscribe button and the uh, chime and that way it will help you help us and you can learn things. If you're not part of the Apex Insurance Group family, we encourage you to check us out. You can call us, email us, or even you can check us out on our website. We make it easy. We make it easy peasy. Hey, next week we're, we're stealing an idea from the Medicare side of the house, which we do not do, but your race to 500. We want to help you get to 500 clients, and when you do, you should be pretty successful. So if you want to find out more about that, that race to 500, join us next week, and I thank you very much for attending today's webinar.